Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you're going to learn how to use the prepositions at, in, and on. For native Spanish speakers, these three prepositions can be very difficult. Why are the prepositions at, in, and on so difficult? Because in Spanish, there is one word for the prepositions at, in, and on. The word en. Here are some examples. Hay leche en el chocolate. There is milk in the hot chocolate. El plato está en la mesa. The plate is on the table. Estoy en la mesa. I am at the table. As you can see from the examples, the word en in Spanish has three different uses in English. So when do we use in, on, and at in English? Let's start with in. We use in for the following situations. Number one, to indicate the year, month, or season. Here are some examples. Year. I was born in 1995. Month. I was born in March. Season. It rains a lot in the spring. Number two. To indicate morning, afternoon, or evening. Here are some examples. Morning. I eat breakfast in the morning. Afternoon. I go to work in the afternoon. Evening. I go to the gym in the evening. Number three. To indicate a location or place. Here are some examples. A state. I was born in California. Or a country. I live in Colombia. Or a place. I have a computer in my office. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice the preposition in. Now let's look at the preposition on. We use on for the following situations. Number one, to indicate the surface of something. Here are some examples. A table. The apple is on the kitchen table. Or the moon. Astronauts walk on the moon. Number two, to indicate a specific day or date. Here are some examples. A day. I have class on Tuesday. Or a date. I was born on March 8th. Number three, to indicate a device or a machine. Here are some examples. A phone. She is talking on her cell phone. A computer. He is on his computer finishing his homework. TV. My favorite movie is on TV tonight. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice the preposition on. Now let's look at the preposition at. We use at for the following situations. Number one, to indicate a specific time. Here are some examples. 12 noon. I will meet you at 12 noon. 5.30 p.m. The bus stops here at 5.30 p.m. Number two, to indicate a place. Here are some examples. A house. There is a party at my house tonight. A stadium. The soccer match is at the stadium tonight. Number three, to indicate an email address. Here is an example. Please email me at abc at gmail.com. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice the preposition at. Congratulations! Now you know how to use the prepositions in, on, 
and at. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck.